So Monday to Friday, I make sure that I study at least five hours, and then on Saturday and Sunday, I study at least ten hours, and that has really worked for me. It has really helped me achieve distinctions. Timber babies, what do you do, babies? How are you guys doing? Are you guys good? Are you guys well? Are you guys fine? Um, let me show you the time. It's literally 1.45 a.m. in the morning, and don't ask me what am I doing since I'm wearing a tire and a shirt. I was literally just studying. And I decided to put on this tie and shirt to look professional and presentable because I want to do a video that has been highly requested on my channel. Um, people have been asking me to share my study tips that work for me. And I think it's about time that I do that because like I, my content on YouTube is related to like getting good results, getting good marks, studying. Um, I do vlogs about how I spend my day, going to school and stuff. So today I'm just going to be sharing my tips. Um, for those who don't know, I just started doing my master's degree in U.S. surgery um, at the University of Cape Town, also known as the University of the Future or the best university in Africa. So I love studying. I love studying so much. I don't know. I just find so much joy and comfort and and I don't know. It just makes me happy. It relaxes me. It's, there's nothing else I'd rather do than just be there by my books. As, and this is literally coming from someone who's out every single weekend and partying every single weekend and living his best life and like trying new things and whining and dining and all that. But during the week, you literally find me like cross-nutting for 12 hours a, a, um, um, a day or just studying or like on my laptop because my research is doing something. So I really love school. But yeah, this video is not about that. It's just for if, if you're struggling with, with studying or if you want like study techniques that work for me and, and whatnot. So yeah. All in all, from my undergrad, I had like this um, rule that I need to study at least five hours um, a day during weekdays and 10 hours a day on weekends. So Monday to Friday, I make sure that I study at least five hours and then on Saturday and Sunday, I study at least 10 hours. And that has really worked for me. It has really helped me achieve distinctions and get good results because like just having that thing um having that um set in stone just really pushes you to like get to your goals and um i would advise you to like focus on one topic a day so when you're studying just like for those five hours focus on one topic so if you want to be doing physics focus on physics for the whole day if you want to be doing um life sciences focus on life sciences the whole day or if you want to be doing mathematics or whatever module or subjects that you, you want to be doing so focus on one subject for that particular day because if like you have like seven modules or eight modules or eight, eight topics and you try to study those things um all of them in, in a single day or like three of them in a single day chances are you're not going to be able to cover like enough content of each particular uh module in an hour or in two hours you know so if you just take that whole time to study one subject or module it really really is really beneficial um and this five hours excludes like going to lectures and doing homeworks. It's just like should be dedicated to studying only. And then um another study technique that works for me. So basically how I study is that um obviously we get your lecture slides. So we get your lecture slides and then from there, um I don't if you're using lecture slides or textbook, whatever that you're using, go through the content of the work. Um, by making notes first without even understanding the work because like what i notice that's when you make notes like writing something down i um, even if you're writing exactly from the textbook or the slides but if you're writing something down you're gonna grasp the topic you're just gonna grasp it a little bit right you're not gonna know it's like from the top of knowing it um going through it for, like the first time at least that's how i am then after going to making my notes from the slides of the textbook, I go to the slides of the textbook without reading the notes. Then now there is when I read to understand. Then when I have that in my brain, I go through the notes that I made 
And then I go to the notes and I'm like, okay, now I'm trying to understand if what I'm reading, the notes I made is correlated to me to what the, the, the slide is having. And then from there, after doing those three things, then I'm like, I'll know the work. It will be like in my head, right? Then after that, I go to YouTube videos. Um, and I go to YouTube videos all about the work that is related to what I just studied. And then YouTube videos literally just help me to visualize what I was learning and put it like in my brain. Then after doing that, I go through the slides again and I read the slides and I go to the notes and I read the notes. And then now after doing that, the work is literally in my brain. Like you literally have to do the same thing over and over again. If if you it takes you to, if you have to do the same thing kind of time for you to have it in your brain, but like do it, you know? And then after that, um, I go to like question papers or questions or questions from textbooks or question papers or whatever. If they don't give us screen papers, I make my own questions. Which literally making your own questions is the best way to study because like I make my own questions based on the, on the on the slides and then I answer them. And then after that, I practice and I practice and I practice. If I recite and I recite and recite, I read the work out loud. I walk up and down during the work. I I literally like go to the work over and over and over and over again literally that's the technique that's the style you can't just do the work once and expect to know it you can't just do the work once or read the slides once or make notes once then you want to do questions after after that no before you do questions you must make sure that you went through the work multiple times and you must make sure that you can read or say the work out loud without reading your notes or you can ask or if someone asks you questions regarding the work then you should be able to do it without looking at your notes. If you can do this without looking at your notes, then you go to getting papers. And if you get a chance to like teach other people, that's the best way of learning by teaching other people because now you're testing your own knowledge of the work. So that's what I do as well because like I, I really really enjoy like teaching other students and and like helping other people get the knowledge that I have. So that's one of the best ways of actually like. Being able to study and then obviously when you have to go to your five hour study session you're not going to be able to study the whole five hours so what i do i'll take like for the i'll take like for five minutes and then take like an hour break or i'll take like two hours i'll take like i'll save for 45 minutes and then take a 15 minute break then set up for another for five minutes take a 15 minute break set up for another 15 minutes 45 minutes and take a 15 minutes break and then sometimes study for like one hour 30 minutes but like Study, take a break, study, take a break, study, take a break. Don't force yourself to study when you're tired because if you do that, you're literally not going to be grasping anything. Um, you're not going to understand anything. And um, this whole thing of working smart and working hard really, really works. Um, you must, wherever your institution is, you must understand the style of asking. If they're going to be asking you MCQ questions, it's not going to be beneficial for you to be studying Um um long question like when you're doing questions it's not going to be beneficial for you if you do long questions if not that's going to be asking you mcqs you see if you know that you're going to be asking you mcqs rather study make mcqs for yourself or go to previous mcqs if you're going to be getting long questions go to previous long questions instead of doing mcqs you see you gotta figure out the strategy of of, of, of asking um at your particular institution if they're going to be asking you questions that i need you to know like to, to put like applications of questions where you can have to put like practical knowledge then study based on that instead of like um doing like theory type of um um questions if you know what i mean so yeah that's another study technique that um that i really think works and also if they provide you guys with previous grading papers go through them most of the work in, okay, not most of the work, like some of them are modules in undergrad was literally based on previous screening papers. Um, my, our examiners would just take previous screening papers, pull them together and ask the same questions. So if you do previous screening papers for the past 10 years for a particular exam, trust me, you are good. You are good because there's, there's only so much where you can ask like um, a question. And it might seem like a lot of work to go to like, 10 question papers from 10 previous years but like if you do it's literally you covering yourself and if you know that you know what's you know what's what i've studied is literally going to come out in the paper and when the paper comes out i'm going to be able to write what i what i studied you're not going to be surprised by what you're, you're going to be writing and then i'm not going to say don't take shortcuts because like sometimes there's just so much work and you don't have enough time to go through all the content so like if there's any shortcuts that you know 
I would say go for them. Like for one, like I said, in some of my modules in my undergrad, I would I would know that like the, the, the lecturer is gonna ask from previous screening papers. So and they, like there will be so much work. So instead of like going to all the notes multiple times, or go to the notes maybe once or twice, and from there go to the question papers and like try to write the question papers and understand the question from the question papers and answer the questions from the question papers without without looking because i know that the questions are going to be the same that's the technique that has worked for me i've gotten distinctions from that technique but we only use it for those lectures that you know that they don't they just take from people's screen papers without changing but now you can have to go to like a lot of questions to make sure that you cover all the content that could, that could possibly ask um yeah and then you just you really have to be consistent you just have procrastination gets the best of all of us like there's no way of of running from procrastination like what's like literally there's no way of running from it it really gets the best of us you need to push yourself you need to be like okay i'm studying this why i'm studying and you must always remember the reason why you're studying and you must always like think of that like why at university and push yourself because okay fine um whenever you're feeling down also just listen to music that you know it's gonna get you up like for instance i love beyonce whenever i feel like we i listen to beyonce i get empowered and i feel good so it always like puts me back in that thing of like wanting to study or like if 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 i don't want to watch music whenever i watch her like her performances and i see like oh my god the drive how good she is always inspires me to be like okay tell me get the hell up do your work so always like watch or listen to something that motivates you and then also speak when you're feeling down and you don't understand it call like someone who's always gonna like uplift your spirits like a friend or a family member and just be like okay just want to speak to you that was always like gonna like uplift you and uplift your spirit and it's gonna like propel you to want to study you see um that works get like a study group that is like w which will consist of like people who want to work like having a group of friends who are not going to push you to do your base is not really going to be beneficial for you but having a group of friends that is always going to check on you check on how you're doing in school work and all that is really going to be beneficial people who, who work hard who, who sleep little and do their stuff and 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 and, and do their things try get um yourself people like that and then whenever you start you reach your study goals or you get like good results always you watch yourself buy yourself a chocolate i always say that buy yourself a chocolate take yourself out go to the beach just do something nice because like you worked hard and you and like you, you did good every time you do good academically reward yourself whenever you're not feeling whenever you're not sure for content or something go to your lecturers like you at university or you, high school you pay to be there so bother your lectures your lectures are getting paid to be bothered by you if your lecture or your teacher explain the con um it's it, um a topic that you don't understand quite well set aside, set aside a consultation with them go to your office bother them back them do what you gotta do to make sure that you you get the results that you want to get like i can't stress that enough um work hard work smart actually work smart play hard um and just give it your all like honestly give it your all when you're tired take that 30 minute nap and wake up and push like when you feeling distracted wake up stand up take that 15 minutes work and come back you know take your 15 minutes break and come back and push like keep pushing and just remember that the you the real is why you're doing this and whenever you need help in or assistance just know that i'm always here and i don't know how informational this video was but that's just what i have for you guys and i hope that someone is gonna find this beneficial and yeah now i'm gonna go back to my trusty clothes and take all of this off and i hope you guys get my video and yeah like if you enjoy my video actually consider subscribing to my channel because I do this for you guys um let me know if there's any other content that you like to see for my channel and yeah bye